Hello my pupilos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today I'm making a video about the 15 most common orthography mistakes that the native speakers make. As you probably noticed, Spanish orthography might be a little bit difficult because of the accent marks and because of the many phonemes that are written in different ways. So I will give you the explanation for every case and give you an example so you can understand in a better way. Dicho esto, empecemos. A ver versus a ver. Many people write incorrectly the expression a ver, which means let's see, by using the spelling of the verb a ver. Let's see an example about this expression. Hola, llamo para ver si ya está listo mi pedido. A ver, en un momento le respondo, señor. Así versus así. This one is similar to the last one. The expression así means something like really. Let's see an example. Hey, ¿sabías que el dólar subió? Así, no te creo. Yendo versus yendo. As I said in this video, Spanish may use different spellings for the same phoneme. And in some cases, there are no specific rules like this one. So we use the letter Y to express the gerund from the verb ir and from some other verbs like construir or disminuir. Ejemplo, estoy yendo al colegio. I'm going to the school. Estoy yendo al colegio. I'm going to the school. Allá versus allá versus allá. So these are three different words that has a completely different meaning but are pronounced in a similar way. When we spell it on this way, we refer to the place adverb. Ejemplo, la camisa está allá. The shirt is there. La camisa está allá. The shirt is there. When we spell it on this way, we refer to the present from the verb hallar. Ejemplo, el explorador hay un tesoro. The explorer finds a treasure. El explorador hay un tesoro. The explorer finds a treasure. And in this way, we refer to the subjunctive mode of the verb haber. Ejemplo, ojalá que haya llegado ya. I hope he has already arrived. Ojalá que haya llegado ya. I hope he has already arrived. Hecho versus hecho. Please repeat after me. The verb echar with an H doesn't exist. I guess many people make the mistake because of the spelling of the verb hacer. But when we talk about the verb echar, it always goes without an H. Ejemplo, echo la basura en el tacho. I throw the garbage in the can. Echo la basura en el tacho. I throw the garbage in the can. Two versus two. Two with an accent mark refers to the personal pronoun and without it refers to the possessive adjective. Tú eres mi hermano. You are my brother. Tú eres mi hermano. You are my brother. Esta es tu camisa. This is your shirt. Esta es tu camisa. This is your shirt. El versus el. El with an accent mark refers to the personal pronoun and el without an accent mark refers to the article. Él es mi profesor. He is my teacher. Él es mi profesor. He is my teacher. El perro corre por el parque. The dog runs around the park. El perro corre por el parque. The dog runs around the park. Me versus me. Me with an accent mark refers to the personal pronoun and without it refers to the possessive adjective. La torta es para mí. The cake is for me. La torta es para mí. The cake is for me. Mi carro es el más veloz. My car is the fastest one. Mi carro es el más veloz. My car is the fastest one. Más versus más. Más with an accent mark refers to the comparative adverb and without it refers to the conjunction which means the same of pero or but. Ejemplo, soy más alto que tú. I'm taller than you. Soy más alto que tú. I'm taller than you. Vino ayer, mas no se quedó. He came yesterday, but he didn't stay. Vino ayer, mas no se quedó. He came yesterday, but he didn't stay. A versus A versus A. So these are all three confusing words. Let's see all of them. The first one refers to the interjection. Ejemplo. Ah, no me había dado cuenta. 
ah, I hadn't realized. Ah, no me había dado cuenta. Ah, I hadn't realized. The second one is a preposition. Voy a la playa mañana. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. Voy a la playa mañana. I'm going to the beach tomorrow. And the last one is the conjugation of the verb haber. Ejemplo, Diego ha llegado a Lima. Diego has arrived to Lima. Diego ha llegado a Lima. Diego has arrived to Lima. I versus I versus I. Another three confusing words. Let's see all of them. When we spell it in this way, it's the impersonal form of the verb haber. Ejemplo, hay frutas en la cocina. There are some fruits in the kitchen. Hay frutas en la cocina. There are some fruits in the kitchen. This one refers to the place adverb. Ejemplo, dejé las llaves ahí. I left the keys there. Dejé las llaves ahí. I left the keys there. And the last one is the interjection. Ejemplo, ay, me duele la cabeza. Oh, I have a headache. Ay, me duele la cabeza. Oh, I have a headache. Cayó versus cayó. Cayó with a double L is the past simple of the verb callar. And with a Y is the past simple of the verb caer. Ejemplo, Laura se cayó cuando recibió la noticia. Laura shut up when she received the news. Laura se cayó cuando recibió la noticia. Laura shut up when she received the news. Jorge se cayó de la silla. Jorge fell from the chair. Jorge se cayó de la silla. Jorge fell from the chair. Votar versus votar. So here we have two different verbs which sound the same but has a different meaning and are spelled in a different way. When we spell it on this way, it means to vote. Ejemplo, votaré por el mejor candidato. I will vote for the best candidate. Votaré por el mejor candidato. I will vote for the best candidate. And when we spell it on this way, it refers to the verb to throw away. Ejemplo, boté varias cosas de mi mochila. I threw away many things from my backpack. Boté muchas cosas de mi mochila. I threw away many things from my backpack. Tuvo versus tuvo. Another two words that are pronounced in the same way. Let's see the difference. This one refers to the noun pipe. Ejemplo, el tubo de escape está haciendo sonidos raros. The exhaust pipe is making some weird noises. El tubo de escape está haciendo sonidos raros. The exhaust pipe is making some weird noises. And in this way is the past form from the verb tener. Ejemplo, Claudia tuvo que volver a la oficina. Claudia had to come back to the office. Claudia tuvo que volver a la oficina. Claudia had to come back to the office. And the last mistake for today is about the spelling of the month in Spanish. In Spanish, unlike English, we always write the month with a lower case. And believe me, this is a mistake even many professional people still make. Ejemplo, volveré a Cusco en mayo. Diego en septiembre. I will come back to Cusco in May. Diego in September. Volveré a Cusco en mayo. Diego en septiembre. I will come back to Cusco in May. Diego in September. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, eso es todo por hoy. Remember that I always encourage you to participate in this community. So, if you have seen another mistake that the Spanish speakers make, please go ahead and put it in the comments below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.